you're gonna be able to see a different number. So with this battery life, I can have two hours and 32 minutes of gameplay with 64%. And if we go back over into, let's say asphalt, you're gonna see a completely different number. So again, let's move that out of the way. Game booster, we have two hours and four minutes with 64% left. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today we're gonna to talk about the brand new Game Booster that is built into your Samsung Galaxy devices. So Game Booster is part of Game Tools, and it pretty much opens up the moment you open up really any other game. Now, you're not really able to go through, let's say, your game launcher, go through the settings on the top, and when you go through game performance or settings, it's not gonna be a part of the game launcher. It is one of those hidden menus that really only pops up when you're playing a game. So for example, I have Asphalt that is opened up. When I swipe up over on the right hand side, I can see my little game tools icon here and built into there is the game booster. So let's say that we check everything out on this game booster from the top all the way down to the bottom. So first up on the top, you're gonna see this little settings wheel. And through here, you can change which shortcuts you have on the bottom of the game tools. And so right here, I have mine set up for the screen touch lock. So if you're playing a game and you have to put your phone in your pocket, or set it down for just a quick second. If you touch on that small icon, it'll lock your screen. You have other options such as screenshot, pop-up panel, and others, but for me, this is my favorite little shortcut to have. When you take any type of a screenshot, you can set your resolution, and that's pretty much it for the Game Booster settings. Now let's say that we go right back over inside of here, click on Game Booster, so you can see that that is the shortcut that we were talking about, which is locking the screen. Now over here, the Game Booster is learning the usage patterns. So if you wanna click on this little uh, exclamation point or information icon, it's letting you know that Game Booster learns your usage patterns for each game you play. This game will be optimized for the best balance of battery life, performance, and temperature. And then when you go right over here, you can read a little bit more about the battery. So the Game Booster measures battery consumption and estimates how much battery time you'll have playing this game. So right now I'm sitting at 65%. It's still learning my patterns, um, but it states that I'll have somewhere between two hours and one minute of playing this game the way it's set up right now. Then you have two other icons, the monitoring of temperature and monitoring of your memory. Now you can go inside of each of these and kind of check out what is happening. So right now it is monitoring the temperature. It's also monitoring the memory that's being used and you can have your auto control on or off. What the auto control does is that it is toggled on. It says it automatically reduces the brightness and volume whenever your phone gets too hot while playing the games. Background applications will also be closed uh, when the memory is low. So if you have other applications running in the background, as this phone is kind of getting warmer, it's playing the game more, it's gonna actually close those down for you. So heading back over into just a couple screens right here, if we go back to the next category here, which is block during game. So these are the things that you can block or have on or off. And so right over here for calls and notifications, I have both of these turned off. I don't need to have anything minimized or nothing like that. Uh, for auto brightness, I do have this one turned off. I don't want auto brightness to come through. So if I have a bright screen, which we do now, and then I walk outside or I walk inside, I don't want it to dim on me. So I have the auto brightness turned off while I'm in this game. Same thing with Bixby and the edge panel because you don't want to accidentally hit your edge panel as you're playing a game. So heading back a screen, this is where you can see the advanced game features. So this is where you can turn on the Dolby Atmos for gaming so it gets realistic Dolby Atmos sounds automatically when you play games. You also have the auto screen lock. So if you want your phone to pretty much lock when it's not in use, so let's say that you do lay it down and you don't want to bother the gameplay, but you let it down on a table, it'll automatically lock after three minutes. Or you can do 30 seconds, minute, or two minutes. You also have the power saving while locked. So what'll happen is that when the screen do, you know, goes into that locked screen, so let's say that we were to click this one right here, it'll save power by lowering the frame rate for games while the screen touches locked. So this right here, we're now locked. It's basically gonna lower the what's happening in the background. If anytime you wanna unlock your phone, you just swipe this open and you're good to go. So heading back over into there, advanced game tools. So that's what's gonna happen with the power saving while locked is that it'll just kind of bring down the frame rate so it doesn't pretty much kill your batteries. When it goes down to the full screen apps, this will show up your app screens uh, of every app you have on your phone. So I'm not gonna open it here now, but you're able to choose what you want to have as your full screen apps. Then you also have this pop-up panel. So as you can see, it's toggled off. 
in when it's toggled on, then you're gonna have a quick panel of different um, applications you can open up pretty much right away. Uh, so if you click right over here on that little four little line, that little dots that I, I hit, here's gonna be your pop-up panel and you can choose which applications you want to be there. So you can have all the way up to four different applications. So as you go through, you can select them. So you can see right here, I have two selected, which is phone and messages. As we scroll down more, I have YouTube music and hangouts. So really, if I wanted to open up my phone, it's gonna open up in a pop-up manner. Same thing with messages, hangouts, and YouTube music. This way, if I wanted to play a game and also listen to music at the same time. So to kind of show you what it looks like, let's say that we click this and then we go inside of hangouts. So you're gonna see that it'll be a small pop-up uh, and then you'd be able to kind of go through and write and then you can get out of it. So it's a way that it doesn't, you know, close this game and overlap fully with another application. It just kind of overlays on the top. So you still have your back, home, and recents, but this is where that shortcut is. Again, mine was for that little lock screen. So this way, if I wanna put it in my pocket for a second, and then again, back in the game tools. So you can see here that this number is actually going up. And that just means that the battery life is being increased by, by 5%. So originally when I first opened this up, um, it stated two hours and one minute. And that was in even with a little bit, you know, uh, slight higher, I think we're at 65%. That's because as this game is opened up, this game booster is saving battery. So battery life has been increased by 3%, which is why this number is going up, which is why game booster is super important when you have a powerful phone like this. Now on the bottom, these are basically your game tools. So you have the navigation button lock, your touch screen lock, and you also have a screenshot. So if you wanna take a screenshot of what you're doing right now, just basically tap that button and it took a screenshot for you. So there's really nothing you need to do with Game Booster in terms of you know installing it or activating it. It really is something that is integrated and hidden inside of your game tools or pretty much inside of any game that you play. So I guess to show you really fast what it looks like if we play a different game, and we go vertical, so let's go inside of Tune Blast. So inside of Tune Blast, once this one opens up, we're gonna pop this up, click on our little booster over here, and you can see that now with this game, uh, even though I'm still at the same, you know, 64%, I can play for two hours and 33 minutes. So even versus different games, because they have different frame rates and you're doing different things and sounds and all that good um, mumbo jumbo, you're gonna be able to see a different number. So with this battery life, I can have two hours and 32 minutes of gameplay with 64%. And if we go back over into, let's say asphalt, you're gonna see a completely different number. So again, let's move that out of the way game booster. We have two hours and four minutes with 64% left. So I hope that you guys have liked this video and also liked this update of game booster being a part of the Galaxy Note 10 and the S10 series. Other than that, if you guys like this video, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. If you liked this video, then more than likely you're also going to like this video over here and I'll see you guys later. Bye.